This week, the Crazy On Crew is doing some hometown hunting in North Florida, proving that hard work and time invested in the off-season can pay off big time, even in the Sunshine State. For most hunters, hunting season starts on opening day, or maybe a couple of weeks before. But for my partner with Crazy On, Chad Parker, hunting season never ends. He's always on the pursuit of trophy whitetails. When you think of Florida in the summertime, you're probably thinking white sandy beaches and palm trees. But for us, it's the start of deer season. One of our favorite things about the summer is being able to watch these deer grow. We watch them from when they have an inch of horn to when they got a full set of antlers. And that's the best part for us, being able to pick out which deer we want to chase, which one's going to be on the hit list, and which ones we're going to save for next year. We just hopped off the tractor, tailing this field behind me. Look at this field, and it's a good 10 point that we've been watching all summers in this field feeding with four or five other bucks. He's one we've been watching, hoping we can get after this fall. He's been scarce the last couple of weeks, but he just showed back up, so fingers crossed he's gonna hang around and maybe we'll get a shot at him with our expeditions. In order to keep these bucks on our small piece of property, we found three key things that help keep them there. One is proper nutrition, good food source for these deer, something they can come to every afternoon and eat during the night and feel unpressured. Second is really good cover, something they can bed in, something they feel comfortable in. And the third is a good water source. If you have these three key items on your piece of property, you'll keep the bucks on it. By setting up the observation stands and getting in here and watching these deer all summer, we get a good idea of which ones we want to chase. Every year we pick out one or two that we're going to set our sights on and put our main focus on. And if we get one of these other bucks to come in that's chasing a doe or follow a doe in from another piece of property, that's just a perk. But to watch these deer all summer, to be able to get on one during early bow season and actually harvest it, is the, that's the tops of it all. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. One deer we had our eye on all summer was a deer we named the Big Ten. We watched this buck from early June all the way into early September. We definitely put them on our hit list. Another deer we've been watching all summer is one we call the Big Eight. He got a nice sticker off his right brow tie and it's one Randy had her heart set on. It's early summer here in Florida and we're getting our food plots planted, getting ready for the fall. Both season starts up here mid-September and we're trying to get a pattern on these deer. We're spending every afternoon coming out here, watching these deer, trying to get a, a better look at them, watching them grow. And the best way to watch them grow is by planting some kind of forage for them, whether it's antler king, no-till, 
for all season. It doesn't matter. They make plenty of blends. All, all of them are awesome. All of them grow. And now's the best time to do it. Get it out there. The deer will be coming to it. You get a better look at them. You have a better fall. Because Florida is not traditionally known as a deer hunting destination, most hunters forget that you can use those same tactics that you use in the Midwest here by preseason scouting, watching these deer, patterning them, getting an early jump, early June, beginning of July, finding out where these deer are bedding in their feeding patterns, planting food plots, giving them abundant food source to grow those antlers, gives you a head start when opening day gets around. Crazy on Outdoors is brought to you by Bill Jordan's Realtree, family, friends, and the outdoors. Hip Stick, a new generation of hunter shooting rests, designed to hunt. Expedition Archery, experience perfection. X-Factor Outdoor Products, be dead silent. And by Crystal Automotive, the choice is clear, Crystal Automotive. Your local dealership does not know the value of your exotic car or motorcycle, and they have no way to find out. At Crystal Motorsports, we know and appreciate exotic cars. From muscle cars to luxury vehicles, sports cars to true exotics, Harleys to Cushman, in mint condition or in need of a little love, Crystal Motorsports will make you a cash offer over the phone, and if you're looking for that vehicle of your dreams, we have special connections to find it. Crystal Motorsports will deliver your dream to you anywhere in the world. Visit crystalmotorsports.com. It's time to get your crazy on with Expedition Archery. If you're a speed freak, you're going to love the new Expedition Eccentric. Sending arrows downrange up to 352 feet per second. That's fast. Plus, the newly redesigned ATR Cable Guard takes efficiency and torque reduction to the next level by eliminating any moving components. Or maybe you'll like the Expedition Xterra. With an even shorter axle to axle and longer brace height, the Xterra is easily maneuverable and super forgiving. Excellence is in the details with Expedition Archery. Today's hunting conditions are brought to you by Trophy Taker. The weather has shaped up perfect for the opening day of Florida's archery season. Chad and Randy have been scouting and planting food plots all summer to be prepared for the season. Chad and Randy have been taking inventory on their bucks all summer so that when opening day gets here, they can be in the right spot at the right time. Finally, after watching these deer all summer, we get to chase after them with the expeditions. We're sitting in this spot this morning because we watch these deer all summer. We know where these deer are coming from. They feed these soybeans at night to the south of us, headed back north for cover to bed in during the day, and we're right in that funnel, right in that pinch point where these deer have to come by us in order to get to that bedding area. So opening the morning, Chad and Randy are tucked in their honey hole. They know this buck's in there and they're in there well before daylight. The buck happened to show up a little bit earlier than he usually does. But Chad wasn't gonna blow Randy's first opportunity at a white tail buck with her bow just because of low camera light. I really cannot believe I just missed that deer. It's hard to tell in the footage, but it was a clean miss. But being Chad as a sportsman he is, he's still going to go out and make sure and look for any sign. We read the tape. We did the best we could to make sure Randy's was a clean miss. But just to double check, I figured I'd walk down this bottom where this deer ran off just to make sure there wasn't any blood. Just as I get in this bottom, a doe jumps. So I freeze, start looking around, see if that buck's there. And sure enough, I see a set of horns moving in the brush. After looking at him for a second, I knew it wasn't Randy's deer. I knew it was a really good buck though, a definite shooter. So I ran back to the blind, grabbed Randy, grabbed a bow, grabbed a camera, and started back in there. One minute Chad's gone looking for blood, the next minute he's running back to me telling me to get the camera and he's getting his bow.
This buck has focus on a doe that just ran down the hill, taking all of it off of me, giving me just enough time to pull my expedition back and get a shot. Kidding me? We just spot and stalked right in here on that deer. Randy shot one this morning. We were looking for it. We came in here to check for blood, and I walk in. I see this deer. I didn't have a bow. I turned around, ran back to our blind, grabbed my bow, grabbed a camera, we came in here and just shot a deer. It doesn't get any better than that. I've never seen anybody put a stalk on a monster like that in Florida but because of the conditions and that fresh pine straw, it made the perfect scenario for Chad to put a clean stalk up on that whitetail. No. Good, 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 good. He's a big one, he's a big tank. Oh, yes. Well, it's opening morning here in Florida and we already got a big buck on the ground. We spent all summer watching this deer. Never thought we'd have opportunity to harvest them. The last two or three weeks he skipped out on us and we thought he went to check on does on other pieces of property and we thought he disappeared, but lo and behold he didn't. So then he gave us opportunity to spot and stalk him, which is really unheard of here where we hunt. So we're definitely happy about that. We actually were getting up to leave and I, I was just checking the area for some sign and um, walked up on him and he was actually bedded and he stood up and I ran back to the blind, grabbed my bow and a camera and we came back in here and uh, we were able to get him. So definitely proud of this one. Spot and stalk on a buck like that in Florida? That doesn't happen often. I'm definitely proud of this one. Each and every day, I'm very thankful for several things. Obviously, my family. I'm very proud of our employees at Realtree, and I cannot be more proud of these patterns, how they look, how they perform. There's so many elements in a camel pattern that has to work, and the pattern has to work up close, and then also at mid-range and even further distances, having some different inconsistent uh, elements throughout a pattern and, and throw in the leaves and stuff on top, it really makes the pattern work. We set the bar pretty high with high standards, you know, all of us at Realtree. How was the fishing, Dad? Don't even ask. <laughs> Thirsty or am I hungry? Gordo's Cheese Dip. And it's microwavable. Sounds great. Gordo's authentic Mexican restaurant style cheese dip is made with real cheese, comes in five delicious flavors, and is ready to serve in just one minute. Mm, this Gordo's dip is great. Oh, man. Awesome. Mm hmm. Mm. Good, good. Mm. Gordo's. Are you a Gordo's dipper? Here's a tip for you bow hunters out there that I found useful. Most hunters go out there and they set up 20 yards from the target and start shooting. Yeah, that's good practice, but you gotta practice for the abnormal shots, the ones that you don't really plan to have in the field, but you may encounter. Like my deer hunt this year, where I had to stalk up on that deer, I didn't plan on shooting off my knees, but with practicing at the house, it was a breeze. When you're actually out there hunting, that perfect scenario doesn't always play out. You need to practice those awkward positions, kneeling down, sitting in a chair like you would be in a blind turkey hunting, sitting awkward in a tree stand because sometimes you can't always stand up from the tree stand you're shooting. And if you always practice shooting standing up, it'll make it for a very complicated shot. Also, extend your range a little bit. Shooting at 20 yards is great practice, but step it out a little bit to 40, 50, 60, even further out because shooting that further out will make these 20 yard and 30 yard shots seem real easy. One of the reasons I chose Chad to be my partner in Crazy On Outdoors is because he has the same philosophies that I do. And that's getting other people involved in the outdoors, whether it be kids, females, or guys that have never hunted before. There's nothing better than taking someone to kill their first deer or even their biggest deer. The enjoyment and the smiles on their face makes all of it worth it. The more hunters that we have involved in this sport, the louder our voice is and the louder our presence is when fighting issues of non-hunting. Whether it's family, friends, or just a neighbor down the street, 
As hunters, we owe it to our sport to recruit people to enjoy the great outdoors. Through conservation, habitat restoration, planting food plots, and establishing mineral supplement locations, hunters contribute more than most people ever realize to our great nation and the wildlife within it. Introduce someone to hunting and the outdoors. They'll thank you for it. At Crystal Automotive in Homosassa, Florida, we offer a full line of commercial vehicles. From cargo vans to cabin chassis, upfitted with dump bodies to refrigerated boxes, rancher beds to utility beds, Crystal can do unlimited modifications to any vehicle. Don't have a fleet account? Crystal will get you one. Need a loan in your business name? Crystal will secure it for you. We understand how important your equipment is to your business and we have the experience to get it right. Call Crystal today and let us start designing your next commercial vehicle. Crazy On Outdoors is brought to you by Bill Jordan's Realtree, family, friends, and the outdoors. Hipstick, a new generation of hunter shooting rests designed to hunt. Expedition Archery, experience, perfection. HHA Sports, join the crowd. And by Crystal Automotive, the choice is crystal clear. Today's hunting conditions are brought to you by Hunter Safety System. Saving lives is what we do. Chad and Randy have already had a terrific start to their Florida deer season. After scouting all summer, Chad was able to take a terrific buck on opening day that they'd had on their hit list. Now it's muzzleloader season, and Randy has her sights set on a buck of her own. With one buck we've been watching all summer on the ground, it's now Randy's turn. Once I got the camera on this buck, I realized it's one of the deer we've been watching all summer. When those does started to spook, I thought the gig was up. I don't know, babe, I couldn't see. I think you did. There he is right here. I tried to get Randy to wait and let this deer turn, but she only had one thing on her mind. All I could think about was pulling the trigger. <laughs> did I hit him? I think you did. That's a big old buck. I cannot believe that just happened. We haven't seen that deer in a while. Not stitched a lot. He's giant. Think you made a good hit? <laughs> I hope so. It's the biggest one yet. This is a valuable lesson that patience pays off because Randy was ready to give up. I was starting to give up, but we we're persistent. We went every chance we got. We kept checking our trail cameras, watching these deer, watching these fields, just hoping that one of them would slip up. And sure enough, he did. So we gave Rainy's deer a little bit of time because with the smoke and all, we couldn't tell how good she hit it. I know I heard the bullet hit, but I wasn't sure where she hit it. So we gave him a little bit of time. We know he went in the woods right here. So 
I think he went down. What do you think? <laughs> Let's go look. <laughs> There's still a blood trail out here. Oh my gosh. Look, he is right there. Right there. Look at this deer. <laughs> I still can I cannot believe I shot this monster right here. <laughs> We've been coming in here all week long after work. Today we got off a little early and came out here about 3.30, whereas before we were coming out here about 5.30. Saw a few small bucks, was passing them up, just something I didn't want to shoot. This is how management happens right here. You get big daddies like this, just like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. <laughs> this is one of the bucks that we were watching back in July had a group of nice boys in their bachelor groups <laughs> haven't seen him for a while figured he might have went to one of the other surrounding properties <sighs> we're sitting in the bottom of course came out saw him top the hill i cannot believe this happened all the waiting actually paid off <laughs> exciting day ever we put in countless hours for this deer I mean we've hunted hard we have it's been rough since the beginning of the season we got a buck opening day Randy filmed it for me and um, we've been after her one ever since and we've had some close ones she's passing on a bunch of small bucks and um, it's finally paid off she's just telling me before we shot this deer how she's getting a little bit discouraged about it all I told her just wait it out you're meant to kill a bigger buck and sure enough this big one came out and she sealed the deal on it. We watched this deer all summer and um, I mean this is you let the deer grow I mean this is this is how it pays off right here. A good mature buck and a very happy customer. I can't believe it I just shot the biggest buck I've ever seen. All the hard work and patience finally paid off. So it seems that no matter where your hometown hunting property is located, don't be afraid to utilize the same tactics proven in the Midwest for monster bucks. Establish food sources, learn your deer patterns and movements, and put your time in scouting during the preseason, and you too may find yourself in the right place at the right time for a wall hanger of your very own. Chad and Randy couldn't have had a better season because they spent all that time in the summer planting those food plots, setting up those mineral sites, watching and patterning those bucks, it all came together for them. Randy took a giant whitetail buck with their muzzleloader and Chad made it the most impressive stock I've ever seen on a giant Florida whitetail. Get you crazy on running all night long till the break of dawn. Crazy on drop them dead on the ground running dogs from a boogie bulldogs and hounds. Get you crazy on Get you crazy on Get you crazy on